how to revive your garden and create your own paradise. For maximum impact, repeat colors, patterns, and materials. Utilizing repetition in the garden is the quickest method to breathe new life into it and give it that Chelsea wow. Any garden space may be made cohesive and cohesive by using the same colors or patterns repeatedly. Less is more in design, despite the temptation to try to cram as many different styles as you can to add some drama. You may unify the garden by using the same colors or pattern again. Imagine having three distinct varieties of wallpaper or cushions that don't match the bed sheets in your bedroom. Suddenly, it appears disorganized and odd. For an immediate impact, pick a few complementary colors and use them repeatedly across the garden area. The same holds true for hard landscaping and paving. Try to limit your material options to a few that are utilized frequently throughout the garden, rather than a lot of inconsistent fashions. A joined-up garden is facilitated by using the same paving material throughout the entire garden. Your garden will feel much more inviting and pleasurable if you exercise some restraint and repetition. Pick a layout that fits your daily routine. Many novice gardeners just try to cram too much into the space while arranging their garden layout. Believing that by adding more, it will develop into a garden for all purposes. In other words, the room aims to accommodate every family member for every use. However, it could result in a disorganized garden design that is never actually used. Since you simply don't have enough influence to meet the many demands. It is far preferable to design your garden using my 90% rule. Designing your garden with what you will use it for 90% of the time in mind is important. I recently had a client who wanted a sizable cooking area for their, once a year, party, as an example. However, 90% of the time when I asked what they would use the garden for, they said they would work from home. Therefore, designing with this in mind rather than a cooking area that would only be used once a year made more sense. Ask yourself, do I need this in the garden? If you're not going to use it 90% of the time, you may improve your garden design choices and give a garden a purpose by concentrating your plan in this way. Play with angles to depart from the simple rectangle. Why not experiment with angles if your garden appears to be a one-hit wonder? Rectangular gardens with a thin border around the edge and a lawn in the center are frequently planned. It is a common misconception that extra space will be provided by doing this. However, they don't offer much in the way of intrigue because you can view the entire garden at a glance, giving the impression that it is uninteresting and small. Why not consider employing a 45-degree angle to divide the room, for instance, which quickly draws your eyes into opposing angles? Play around with creating welcoming places in your garden by using angles to divide it into distinct zones on paper. When compared to the simple rectangular form, you'll be surprised at how much more you can cram into your area. Angle manipulation can give the appearance of space and make even small gardens appear larger. Plant a crop in multiples of 3, 5, or 7. Planting in multiples is the best kept secret of top garden designers. When you're looking for or cultivating plants, it might not be the first thing that springs to mind, but it's a sure-fire method to give your garden an instant wow factor. You can start to give the garden uniformity like those stunning award-winning show gardens by planting the same plant many times. It may be tempting to purchase one of each of your favorite plants, but this usually results in a garden that looks random and unorganized. Use at least three of a plant in your garden if you really enjoy it. To catch your attention like punctuation, either cluster them in one spot or scatter them over the landscape. You can start to make a garden that serves a purpose by combining this guideline with the repetition advice. Save planting by itself for ornamental plants or bushes. Start considering three, five, or sevens for all other plants, even in tiny places. When you plant multiples, you have to compare how much you prefer that plant to other options. If you want to revive your garden faster click on the link below the video. Please like and subscribe our channel for life-changing content and hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.